It has been a successful year of firsts for many of the athletic teams here at Nate. Both the men's and women's curling teams won ACAC Gold, the men going on to win CCAA Gold, and the women fell a bit short winning CCAA Silver. In hockey, the women won their first ever ACAC Gold, and the men won ACAC Gold for the first time since 1996. In volleyball, the women beat Mount St. Vincent for their first ACAC Gold. In badminton, the teams fared well as always, with men's singles and mixed doubles taking CCAA Gold, and the men's and women's doubles taking bronze. The athletic department has started a rebuild, hiring new coaches hoping to build on their successes and have similar results next season. The Mini World Cup wrapped up last Thursday at Edmonton South Soccer Centre. The men's match was set to be a classic battle between the Scottish and Irish, while Portugal and Italy faced off in the women's final. Scotland dominated the game, taking their second championship within seven years. The final score is 6-2. to two. We just played well collectively as a unit. Started from the back with me. I had probably my best game in the tournament. And then with the defense, everybody was working for each other, getting in tackles, making good passes. The women's game had a special guest in the crowd as the next Cristiano Ronaldo came along to cheer on his country against Italy in the finals. Victoria Saccomani takes a shot for Italy, Rebecca Reef comes up with the save. She lobs it across the field, the ball bounces and Julia Ignacio is the first of the ball. She pounds it into the back of the net, 1-0 Portugal. Nicole Palladino gets the ball free in the corner, passes to Krista Hooper and fires it into the back of the net to tie up the game. Half time and the game is even at one. Portugal is awarded a free kick and Jessica French takes it. Avery Anastasio receives it and taps it in for Portugal to win the game two to one. We knew that the first goal was going to be a, a huge one for us and it felt really good to be that person to put it in the back of the net. I know we didn't have many opportunities but the one that I did get I, I made sure to put it in the back of the net. On Friday, students and alumni of Archbishop McDonald High School laced up their trucks for a good cause. The local high school held their fourth annual 12-hour basketball marathon for charity. The participants raised money through pledges to build a school in Sierra Leone. The school set out to raise $7,000 for this cause. And so we'll be funding the staffing, the various educational programs, you know, different aspects like that. They fell a bit short of their goal, raising a final total of $5,800. April 15th is known as Jackie Robinson Day throughout Major League Baseball, as the day Robinson modernized the game. He was the first African American to play in the MLB for the former Brooklyn Dodgers. Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Chicago White Sox in the first of a four game home series as they honor Jackie Robinson, the player who revolutionized the game. Mark Burley opened up pitching against his old team for the first time since the big trade in the offseason. Paul Canerco with the base hit off the top of the first. Jeff Kepinger scores with the initial throw going to second base. Jay Pierre and CB up to bat for the Jays in the bottom half of the first, batting third in Jose Batista's place as he is out with back pains. He knocks it right out of the park, ending the two-run first. Top of the second, after giving up his fifth hit, Burley picks out Tyler Green. Mysore Astoris launches it and brings both him and Nino near a Kawasaki home, putting the Jays up 3-2. Bottom of the fourth, Kawasaki finds the gap and rips it down the field for his first career triple and scores on Emilio Bonifacio's sack fly. Burley had his longest start of the season, Jays up 4-3 at the top of the ninth. Casey Jansen goes in for the save and strikes out the first two hitters and gets Keffinger to ground out. The Jays win the first of the series, go 6-7 on the season. The Oil Kings begin their best of seven semifinal series against the Calgary Hitmen tonight in their quest for a repeat of last season's accomplishments. That's so cool, all the players wear 42 for Jackie Robinson Day. Yeah, it's great that they honor him. I mean, he was a revolutionary player in the league. Yep, and the movie 42 just came out last week. Have you had the chance to see it yet? No, but it's definitely my day planner for this weekend. That's your look at news and sports for the week.